Hello, Macy here. As you know, the Spirit of Kerbin and House in One are on their way to Lathe and the new colony. This is them in transit. But all has not been well at home. Many Hanland ships have been detected leaving the system recently, but this one has stalled their new Harbinger class. As you know, you can't just leave orbit with this. You need to refuel it first. So this is modelled exactly on the Vulture, the cheeky scoundrels. What's worse is they've hacked our automated orbital silo and are using it to refuel it. This is now the second time a Shade has docked with this station in the last few days and this cannot be allowed. But as you know, we're lacking the firepower to take out a Shade at the moment. But there is one. There is one ship that may be able to help us here. It's still in its experimental stages at the moment, but let's give it a try and see how it's going to perform in a battle. So I'm just going to rendezvous with this carrier and fly underneath it and see if I can tempt this shade out first before I come close to it. And uh, this is the rendezvous point here. So let's go to battle. Well, that was a nasty surprise. Two shades were docked with the enemy carrier, not just the one. But I'm afraid our missile defense system was fully operational when your friends arrived. That was three shots fired and two destroyed shades, which I call a resounding success for the anti fighter system. I've cleared all the debris so I can take a better look at the battlefield. And both of those shades, it looks like the pilot survived. This is the ship I decapitated, the leadership the first one I hit, 
and um, although I thought I destroyed the capsule I have just knocked it off it is still here so let's just check if he's in there and yes he's alive but another Bill Kerman what is it with Bill Kerman I don't I don't get this I promise you I didn't engineer that it is another Bill Kerman piloting the enemy ships so this was the second shade I hit now I can see it in the light it is not fully destroyed but I'm sure if he engaged those engines he would cartwheel and another Bill Kerman what is this is this some sort of clone army um, I'm not sure but this is the um, battle cruiser and I've taken no damage no damage that was four direct hits from torpedoes from the second shade and no damage whatsoever so now let's move into position and take out this carrier the engines on this are quite similar to the spirit of Kerbin five engines um, it does actually have the Delta V to get to lathe so without refueling so it's good for that fact if it continues to be this successful during this battle I will implement it into my fleet and send it out to accompany the spirit of Kerbin I think they'll be mighty pleased to see this on their side I want to get really close to this now I know it might lag horrendously bringing these two behemoths within 2.5 kilometers of each other but I want to see this firsthand and I want Hanlan to witness this up close and maybe this will act as a deterrent for them to stop their nefarious activities and um, quit this pointless war for good so this should be shock and awe this is what Spirit Wolf are capable of if you rile us we are a peaceful organization as I've mentioned but if you push us we will put funds into these ships and we will make them bigger stronger and more powerful than your ships we've already demonstrated the effectiveness of our anti-fighter weaponry but we have yet to test our anti-capital ship weaponry now Hanland witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle cruiser Yes, uh, I know, that was a bit evil putting the second two <laughs> in, but fear not, they are alive. There is still no casualties in this battle, but look at that, another Bill Kerman. This is definitely, definitely a clone army. I think I'll leave them here to mull over their mistake. <laughs> I'm sure Hanlan will come and rescue them. If they don't come and rescue them, I'll come and rescue them in a Gladius, you know, but no fatalities. I'm happy with that and we still managed to demonstrate our firepower so guys please help me name this ship yet again I will choose the winner in three days so please check the date of this video and to make sure you haven't missed it um, bye for now if you would like to see big ships like stations being deorbited with the new um, atmospheric effects please go over and check out this video here I totally stole the music from that and that's what you've heard in this so um, please go and check it out it is awesome